Hi guys, I'm Alexandra from largefamilymama.com and today I want to share with you the tips I have learned on creating an efficient laundry system. There are nine of us living in this house so there's always plenty of laundry to do um, and I've been doing this for many years now and there's a few things that I've learned along the way and I thought I would share them with you and perhaps they might help. So there are nine of us but we do live in a very small house and we don't have a laundry room, we don't have a utility room so this laundry system is one that I've developed which doesn't involve you having to have much space. So I don't have tons of laundry baskets everywhere, I don't have special bins, I don't have anywhere to store anything. So yeah, this is a good system if you don't have much space, it's a good system even if you do have a lot of space. So my first tip is to just have one laundry basket. We don't have laundry baskets in all the bedrooms for people to put their dirty laundry into. We just have one main big laundry basket in the hallway and it's a big old wooden box that we got from Ikea many years ago. It must be over 10 years ago we got that but if I can find a picture I'll put it up on the screen now and that's just the right size for our family um, to throw all our dirty laundry in and it's good to keep it all in one place because then you can see exactly when you need to put a load on. So Years ago I got my older children to do their own laundry but I don't do that anymore because it would take them so long to build up enough stuff to put, make up one load um, and they would be left without their clothes for so long because they're waiting for a, a big enough pile to build up for, for a load. So that was just really awkward. So now I just get everybody to put all their washing in the one basket and I put it on, well, usually me. Sometimes I'll ask an older child to put a load on for me if I'm really busy. It's just easier that way for me to do it all. Except I don't do their bedding and their towels. We have different days allocated for bedding and towels. So for example, my day for washing my bedding and towels is uh, on a Thursday. And I know without fail, that as soon as I get up on a Thursday, I strip the bed and I put that in the washing machine. And I think after you've done that for a few weeks, it's just such a habit. You don't even think about it. You don't notice it. And uh, it's really good to keep on top of it that way. And then my children have their days allocated for them for their bedding and towels. So the boys have one day and they will take off their own bedding. The older boys will help my younger son to take off his bedding and put it in the washing machine and then put it in the tumble dryer and then put their bedding back on. It, it can be awkward to train children at first. It feels very frustrating and you feel like doing it yourself because you know it's going to be quicker and you know just done better, but you have to sort of bear with it and know that it will be worth it in the end because now I don't have to help them do their bedding. They can just do it themselves and I can get on with other things. And so then another day of the week, my daughters have their day allocated for washing their bedding and um, towels. And again, they help their younger sister who's six sort out her bedding and towels. You know, people think it's really hard work being in a large family and that I must have so much to do and everything. But if you do things right and you train your children properly, then it is not that bad. It, you, can, <laughs> you can have a life. You know, there are definitely ways to make things run a lot more smoothly and more efficiently. Many years ago, I used to do the ironing. I used to iron everything and iron for everybody in the house, but I didn't have many children back then. Um, but I don't do that anymore because if I did, I would literally spend my whole life ironing. So now I have a completely different method of dealing with the clothes. So what I do is I always take the washing out of the tumble dryer straight away so that it's still warm and then I split it into two sections. I have a pile for myself, my husband and my youngest two children and then I have a pile for the older children. I take the pile for the older children and give it to them and then they have to fold it and put it away. And then I fold my pile while it's still warm and because it's still warm you can smooth out all the creases and I've put those things away. In the warmer months, I like to dry my washing out on the line. It's just so much nicer and it saves it money because you're not having to pay for more electricity to run the tumble dryer. So yeah, I always like to dry it outside if I can. And uh, I just make sure that when I hang out my washing that everything is hung out really 
as neat as I possibly can so it's nice and flat it's not all bunched up so it just dries so you don't have to bother ironing it's just it dries quite nicely <laughs> and something else that I have learned over the years is that it's a good idea for the children especially to not have more clothes than they actually need so each of my children have enough clothes for them to wear for a week and that's pretty much it um, so we in the boys room because they have a very small room they've each got a very small chest of drawers again which I got from Ikea I'll leave a picture if I can find it yeah they're, they're tiny chests of drawers but it's enough for each of them to store all their clothes in and I'm very strict about that they have to have their clothes in the right drawer and it has to be all folded and neat um, and if it's not then you know they won't be allowed screen time or whatever <laughs> So in the top drawer they have their underwear and pyjamas, in the middle drawer they have their tops, you know, t-shirts, jumpers, whatever, and then in the bottom drawer they have their trousers and then, or in the summer they have their shorts in there. And yeah, that, that way if you, if you don't have many clothes you can't leave the washing piling up for ages because then nobody's got any clothes, you have to get it done. So for us we have uh, to put on a load of washing pretty much every single day not including the bedding and towels because that's on top of that so clothes wise we have to put on um, washing every day so one day I'll do a load of darks then the next day I'll do a load of coloreds then the next day I'll do a load of whites and it just keeps us being able to rotate all the clothes really quickly and not have to store tons of clothes in our rooms because we just don't have the space we don't I know in America they have like walk-in closets and things but um, in England it's not that common and we live in a small house so we have only have you know small chests of drawers and um, my husband and I have got a small little wardrobe in our room and in the girls room they've got um, a couple of wardrobes with the chests of like the drawers underneath. Yeah, we can't be storing tons of clothes. So they are the tips that I've learned over the years to have one main laundry basket that everybody puts their stuff into, for everybody's clothes to be washed together so that nobody has to wait too long for their next lot of clean clothes and to do a load every day if you live in a big family like mine or just whenever there's enough for a load get it done straight away so you never have a big pile building up to then put your laundry away straight away and everybody know how to do that nice and neatly <laughs> so that it's not taking up much space and you know to not really bother ironing if you don't have to there are still things that I do like to iron of mine and my husband's because you know they're just things that never look great if you don't iron them so I do still do that but my older children know like children 10 and above know that if they have something that they want ironed they have to do that themselves so yeah train your children to help you from a young age get them to just do it and get a routine where you have an allocated day for different people in the house to do their bedding so that it just becomes such a habit that it's done first thing in the morning and then you just you don't even think about it it's just second nature it's just like getting up and brushing your teeth in the morning when I get up on the Thursday I know that I just take the bedding off and deal with it anyway they are my top tips for having an efficient laundry system in a small house where you don't have any space and maybe you have a large family um, I hope some of the tips helped you and I would love it if you would give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I shall see you soon thank you for watching bye